Welcome to my first ever State of the Nation address. Today, I will be addressing the government's plan for the upcoming year. Firstly, I will provide more jobs for the people of our country and also raise their salary. Especially now that we are in the pandemic, most businesses and corporations are not doing so well or have closed down. Some people still have a job, but their salary is not enough to provide their basic needs. We have a lot of OFWs or people that is forced to find a job in other countries just because the salary rate in here in the, in the Philippines is not enough to provide for their family. That is why I will definitely give the people of our country sufficient jobs that is able to sustain their living. Thus, they don't have to work for other people, for other countries anymore because other countries' economy is benefiting from the hard work of our Filipino. Secondly, I would definitely legalize divorce because divorce is still prohibited in our country and um, it's still a very huge debate because we are, uh, most of us are Catholic and the church and the government, is, it's still a huge debate but I would, I um, definitely want, I will definitely legalize divorce because the Philippines and the Vatican City are the only two sovereign states that is that is still prohibiting divorce and domestic violence is a very real thing. It's not only happening in our country but also all over the world. That is why other countries are already already has already legalized divorce. Before my term ends, I will make sure that divorce is already legal in our country and I know that um, domestic violence is not the only reason for divorce and there's a lot more and that is more reason that we have to implement divorce in our law. Corruption is a very major problem in our country. There's a lot of corrupt politicians. I will implement a law where the employees, the government employees and the civil servants and politicians get good salary, they get high salary. So they, ha they have no reason to pocket money or to corrupt, to be corrupt. If ever I find out that there is corruption that's going on during my term, you will be out. You will no longer be able to work in a government and no other um, jobs will be suitable for you. No other jobs will hire you. You will only get a low paying job. Nobody's going to trust a corrupt uh, employee anymore nobody wants that and you're going to be an embarrassment to our country seriously so I'll make sure that there will be no corruption corruption is not tolerable during my term in my as a president education must be accessible to all everyone has the right to education wherever you are and no matter what your living state is education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world if ang kabataan ay ang pag-asa ng bayan then we should give them the education that they deserve lastly i will suppress the freedom of the press the media nowadays has too much power they are giving us they're providing us with fake news and we easily believe it and I don't like that. They're distorting truths and I want to put a stop to it. This has not been going this this has not been going on just recently. This has been going on for many, many years. That is why I will limit the amount of news that these uh, media will provide and I will make sure that only real news, real and credible news will be um, published in mainstream media. Because if you're going to provide us with news and entertainment, Make sure that it's credible and not ruining somebody's life.